Hello and in this video we are going to learn how to convert text to table in Word and this is very useful when you have a list of ideas or action items that you want to convert into a table in order to add description or other explanation to it. So in the first example you can see here that I have a few bullet points that I want to convert to table and I want each bullet point to be at the beginning of each row. So let's learn how to do it. First, let's select all the bullet points. Then go to Insert, go to Table. Now, go to the third option, which is Convert Text to Table. Obviously, we want the bullet to be on one column and then the explanation to be on another column. But for the time being, let's just select one column and I'll tell you why in a second. Let's say if we put it into two columns, let's see what happens. And you can see that bullets 1, 2, 3, 4 are being into two columns. And this is fine if what you really want to do is to put all the bullets and nothing else in the same table. But very often, this is not the case. So we would need to put the bullets into one column and then the explanation or the description in another column. So in that case, make sure that you select number of column as 1, yes, and separate text as paragraph, yes. Now, all you need to do is to right click and then go to insert, insert column to the right. All right, just delete this. We don't need the bullets anymore. So let's go to bullet and click none. And then right click again, go to insert and insert row above. Now you can add in the description like a table heading. Okay, so bullet and description all right so our first example is done so in the second example i have a list of the top five best-selling fruits here and what i really want to do is to put each fruit into a separate row and then add the price next to it all right so again select everything go to insert go to table convert text to table and click ok but this is not what we want. So again, remember when you are converting text to table, you'll need to look carefully at the number of columns and decide how many columns do you need. In most cases, you would only need one column to ensure that each word or each line or each bullet item is being put into a separate row. And then we can add another column to it later on. All right, so let's go. Okay, this is what we want now. Right click, insert column to, to the right, yep. And then right click again and insert row above. And then we can insert our header row to it. And our problem is solved. Now in the next example, this is a bit complicated because it's got a three dot dot, dot in it. All right, so let's do it again, table. Now many of you might think that, okay, so we will need to put um, in the separate text as we will need to specify that we want the three dot 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 instead but what doesn't give us that option so let's just click ok and see what happens oh this is totally off all right no worries let's just undo go to insert go to table convert text to table again and then in the separate text and just choose a paragraph because basically you can see that we want each line to be put in a separate table row. All right, now this will work properly. Okay, so next let's go to a real world example. So my client has just sent me the transcript of a TVC in English and I will need to put everything into a table and then add another column to write the Vietnamese translation equivalent to it. All right, so select everything and then go to table, convert text to table, number of column seven. No, we don't want that. We only want one. All right, and separate text as paragraph. Okay. Yep, that looks good. Now insert, insert column to the right. All right, now right click again, insert row above, and I'll put here this is the original voiceover in English, and this is in the second column will be the Vietnamese translation. All right, so that's done.